Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I have a very busy morning. It's currently 8.27. Um, I woke up at 7. Um, did some like admin work bits really, really quick. And then I had a shower, washed my hair, dried my hair and um, got ready. I have a meeting in now two minutes and then I have another meeting at nine and then I'm taking most of the day off. So I'm gonna work till about 11 and then take most of the day off. I have my first singing lesson today. Um, I'm really excited. I'm quite nervous, but I'm really excited as well. And then in the evening, I'm seeing Heather's for the first time which I am really, really excited about. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going on my own and like, I know that the Heather's fans are really hardcore. So it'll be, it'll be a fun and interesting experience either way. Um, okay, I'm gonna go now because I have a meeting and I will catch up with you later. Yesterday Eve, I spent a few hours reading, which was really, really nice because I feel like if I don't allocate time every day to read I just won't do it as in like put my phone in a different room sit down with the intent to read for a set period of time um I finished this book which I have conflicting thoughts so when I was a teen I was rather obsessed with Nicholas Sparks I read all of his books and he has come out with a few new ones over the last to know like five six years um that I haven't read and this is one of them the return so I picked this up um end of last year and I finally decided to read it and I was initially a little bit disappointed because as a teen I would pick up a Nicholas Sparks book and I would finish it within 24 hours without fail and it's one of those well, he was one of those authors for me that you pick up their book and you don't put it down until you finished and I just found that with this book I was on like like page 150 there are 350 pages so about halfway um and I was like I still don't see the I felt like we were getting closer to like the climax of the story but we were like I don't know like the plot wasn't moving and I wasn't really like enticed with the characters and I was just kind of like I don't I don't see the point of this and I felt like there were two different like the plot moved slowly and there was like a narrative between two characters and then that kind of stopped and then another storyline was picked up and I knew that eventually those kind of two different storylines would somehow meet but it wasn't until I would say like well over two thirds into the book that I was like okay I get it and I'm intrigued so I did enjoy like the ending was I thought was what you would expect from a Nicholas Sparks ending but I didn't love the book um and I was kind of just reading to like finish the book and then towards the end it got good but because I've read over the last like or since the start of the year I've read some really really great kind of gripping novels I just found this one a little bit difficult to move through because it was quite slow but anyways I finished that I wouldn't recommend it to like a friend um it was okay it was you know what kind of you would expect from a Nicholas Sparks novel but beyond that it wasn't brilliant um and then so me and my best friend Cassidy have had this kind of back and forth about the kindle now I got a kindle as a gift I got this kindle as a gift when I graduated university I believe so I was university or school maybe when I when I finished school so when I was like 18, 17, I feel. It was either school or uni, but I got a Kindle as a gift. And I initially liked the idea of a Kindle because it meant that I didn't have to lug around a bunch of books because I would typically read. I hadn't discovered Audible by then, um, but I would typically read 
two or three books at once and I was a literature student at university so that meant that I was reading I would say like around four to five books at one time so the nice thing about the kindle was that I could get the kin I could get the books on the kindle and not have to lug around a ton of books now I fell out of love with the kindle very very quickly um I love and will always love holding an actual book nothing will ever compare to that but I do see the kind of benefits of having a kindle so I dug mine out and my friend Cassidy was like just try it you know like it's it's really good you'll get into it blah 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 so I've made an active decision to try and rediscover some of the love that I felt for my kindle many moons ago um I've bought a couple of books that like have been recommended to me but I'm not like oh I definitely want this as part of like my collection um so I bought those on the kindle and I'm currently reading if you can see also my chair is really squeaky there we go um all my friends are superheroes by Andrew Kaufman and so far it's really good it's quite a short book I think it's like a hundred and something pages um and I'm on chapter four so so far it's really really good it's quite it's quite funny and very very I've never read anything like this it's, it's, it, I'm enjoying it so far so plan is to finish this one on the kindle and then I have also quickly show you I have also got on my kindle um last night at the telegraph club by Melinda Lowe that came really highly recommended um I've got Girl A by Abigail Dean which again very highly recommended I think it's one of those like suspenseful books that oh, I, I always say like I'm not into that sort of stuff but I've read The Silent Patient, The Guest List and Verity which all kind of fall under that genre and I absolutely love those three books and Girl A I've been told is quite similar so I'm excited about that one and then I also got One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid who is the same author as if I'm not mistaken Daisy Jones and the Six which I read recently and absolutely loved and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which I read end of last year thought it was fantastic recommended it to all my friends my copy of that book is actually circulating between like a friendship group of mine um and everyone so far has loved it and then I also got The Midnight Library which I know that I got it like I definitely bought it but it's not showing up here and I don't really know why I'm still trying to navigate the Kindle but I got the Midnight Library and I have definitely heard mixed reviews I've heard some people like I've watched videos on YouTube from like booktubers who have said that that's one of their favorite books but then um Cassidy you guys are gonna have to get used to me bringing up Cassidy because I always bring her up in conversations but Cassidy read it and was like this is terrible um so I'm very very intrigued to kind of read that book and get my own kind of sense of you know my thoughts and stuff um so that one's on my list as well so I will finish this one and then Cass and I are actually due to start reading we've been trying to read like the same book side by side for a very long time but for various reasons our schedules haven't allowed for that so I know that we're meant to read a book called The Maid by it's over there need to prose I think we're meant to read The Maid and You and Me on Vacation by oh, I can't see that you and me on vacation we're meant to read that book as well um and i think we're going to start that at the end of this week so that's very 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 exciting but that's a lot of book talk um i i feel like i haven't spoken very much about books on this channel and i really do want to because books are a massive part of my life and always have been ever since i could learn to read i always had my nose in a book um i always carry books with me as well or a book with me and that was a point of like 
I want to say like people, yeah, people made fun of me for that because if I went to like, when I was a teenager, if I went to like a party or I went out on a date, I would always have a book with me. Now it's like less of an issue because in London, you are constantly having to commute and sometimes you're meeting someone and they're like late or in my case, I'm always early. So I'm there before them. Um, and it's just a good opportunity to take out a book and just read because if you enjoy doing that and that's great. Um, but when I was living abroad, there's no commuting apart from driving. So I obviously can't, if I'm driving, I can't read and walking around. So there, there was less kind, it was less okay to like show up to places with books and like at a party, it'd be the person in a corner reading sometimes. But anyways, I'm now here in London and it's many people take books places with them and I love that. I love seeing people on the tube reading, um, that always makes me so happy. I'm like, oh, I get you. Um, I actually have quite a bit of a commute to get to my singing lesson. I have to get up north, <laughs> um, not like up north of England, like the north of London. I have to get to the north of London for my singing lesson which I'm really looking forward to. I'm very nervous. I think I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm very nervous. Um, so I have that. And then I'm going to probably visit my mum, um, have a cup of tea with her and a snack or something. And then I'm gonna head to the theater to see Heather's. Yay. <laughs> um, I am very, very excited to see Heather's. I've been listening to, I watched the movie and I've been listening to the soundtrack and the soundtrack is so, so, so good. Um, today's actually the new, the first day of the new cast. So I think there are various people that have stayed on from the older cast and there are a couple of new people who are starting today. I know that there's a new Heather Chandler and there is a new, I think the teacher, like the gym teacher, like he's new. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I will take you along with me and try film as much as I can throughout my day. Um, but yeah. singing lesson as an adult that I could have had. So happy, so excited. She's amazing and I was so, so, so nervous, but by the end I was like, okay. And I hit notes that I didn't think I could ever hit. Um, so absolutely chuffed. <laughs> Visiting this one. Hello, do you wanna say hi? Milo, what are these toys? I mean. Oh, he's the love of my life. Look at this face. Mm. Mm.
Really, really, really good. Um, the, the two leads, the actors that play Veronica and JD. I don't know how to say her name, and I feel like I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen. And the guy is Jacob Fowler. He's so, 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 so good. Like vocally immaculate. Um, yeah, I thought the production was amazing, and the actor that plays the teacher, I think her name's Pauline. Her, her like solo bit was phenomenal. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was really great. So I was saying, it's like a swarm of people, like a mass of people walking towards me. So I stopped filming. But I was saying that I really enjoyed it, but it's a bizarre environment to be in as an adult because the majority of the audience is really, really young, like, like teenager young. And like the comments you hear are just really weird blah 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 and then there was a lot of oh my god he's so hot he looked at me he he, he waved he, he didn't wave he was in the middle of performing but um yeah so it was just really it was like a bizarre environment to be in I felt like I was back in like secondary school um yeah it was just really really funny like when 
there are like uh, two of the guys, like the jocks. They take off their shirts and like I could hear squeals behind and next to me. Strange. Hello. It is Future Noor coming at you from editing this vlog. And I know I already ended it. <clears throat> like past or ended the vlog but me in the present felt like I had to share something with you on the way back from the theatre I stopped by Tesco and I grabbed a meal deal because I had not eaten and I was hungry and I also found double cream Oreos so I picked some up and I was going to munch on them while editing this vlog I mean, it's not focusing. There. Does that look double stuffed to you? I don't know if it's just me, but I genuinely opened this and was like, what the hell, I've been robbed? I just felt like I had to share. Um, just, uh, that's not double stuffed. I've had double stuffed Oreos in the US and they're like twice this size, like thickness. Anyways, back to the vlog. Me again. So it turns out I just was really unlucky with the first one I got. I ate the first one so I didn't get to show you the first one but my sister has confirmed that these definitely double stuffed so I apologise Oreos, <laughs> but the one, the first one that I ate was like half of this, I kid you not. But yeah. All in all, um, I enjoyed it. I think the music was really, really good. Um, I think it was really, really well cast, particularly, like I said earlier, like the two leads and the teacher who also plays Veronica's mum. Vocally, I thought, Everyone was really, really spot on, like, wow. I don't know how they do, I think it's eight shows a week. I don't know how they do that. They're poor vocal cords. Um, and I get why teens are obsessed with it. Um, it's definitely not a show that I would go and see multiple times. Um, just cause again, I think it's geared towards a younger demographic of people, but it was really, really good. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it you have stuck around till now um i appreciate you sending you much love i think i'm going to end this vlog here and i will see you next time